Barney. I want no more of it. I might have killed a man. Ah, oh, come off it, kill a baby. These big loggers can take care of themselves. Cutting down trees, maybe. But not when it comes to fighting a professional boxer. But don't you see, champ? That's the whole idea. They all think they can last three rounds with you for a hundred bucks. <laughs> it's like taking candy from a baby. Well, I'm fed up with it. You told me I'd be training with professional sparring partners, working in a proper training camp. You've done nothing but lie to me. Call this a training camp? Living like hobos? I'm through, Barney. You better find yourself another sucker. Hey, champ. Hey, look, champ. Just stick with me until the next town. I'll get to a phone and line you up with a real good sparring partner. A, a real professional. Is this some more of your lies? Oh, no, champ. Honest, cross my heart. Look, we'll, we'll get you a proper training camp, an old barn or something, huh? What, what do you say? All right, Barney. I'll give you one more chance. But remember, no more setting up any more of these local people like this. Understand? Sure. I understand. Hey! What is it? It's coming from over there. Come on, let's go and see. made a bit of a mess of it there, haven't I? Are you a boxer? A real boxer? <laughs> I'll say he is. This is Killer Jones, the greatest fighter to come out of Wales. I'm Barney Snyder, his uh, manager and trainer. Hi. 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 Uh, you kids from around here? Yeah. Uh, where's the nearest town? Indian River, about five miles away. I don't suppose you'd happen to know of a place, a barn or something that we could rent as a training camp, would you? Gee, no. Uncle Raoul's about the only one I can think of. But he's rented his place out to a circus animal trainer. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, what about the fort? Hey, that's a great yeah. idea. Fort? It's our headquarters. Lots of room for you to do your training. You could sleep in the radio room. Hey, that sounds great. Come on, we'll help you get your stuff together. Then you can come right over. Show me a left. That's good. Okay, Charlie, work him over. Make him work. That's it. Come on. Come on, Charlie. Oh, don't take that from him. Okay, Tony, give him a rest while I answer the telephone, eh? Keep out. No trespassing. <laughs> keep out. Who do you think you're telling to keep out? No gall ding dang sign is going to tell me where I can go and where I can't. <laughs> I'll show you. you tell me where I can go and where I can't. See? <laughs> yeah. Trouble with the whole world these days. Everybody's telling everybody else what to do, what not. Hey, Tony, great news. We've just been booked for a six-month tour. Tony, what happened? Hey, wh what's the matter? Hey, hey, wake up, wake up. Hey, where, where's Charlie? Oh, no. If he runs into anyone while he's wearing those boxing gloves, pow! Well, they're gonna end up on the moon. Come on, we better find him. <laughs> Yeah. Like the old days. You sure them can't push folks like me around. Mm -hmm. 
Catfish. What a punch. Okay, Tim. We're going to drive into Indian River now and pick up a few supplies while you set up the camp the way you want it. Hey, can we come? Sure, kid. Come on. Just remember what I told you, Barney. No more amateur fighters, do you hear? Just get on the telephone and get me a professional sparring partner. Someone who knows how to take care of himself. Sure, champ, sure. Don't worry about a thing. Just leave it to old Barney. <laughs> you don't trust him, do you? I don't know, Coffee. I just don't know. Hari balam bara balam bam bara bam bara bam. Say, kid, uh, how would you and your buddies like to make a little money? Well, sure. What doing? Oh, uh, just going out, doing a little advertising for me. That's all. Advertising. Yeah. Uh, spread these around town. Nothing to it. <laughs> Leave the rest up to me. With one hundred dollars, last three rounds with the champ. They'd be crazy enough to try this. He's liable to kill them. <laughs> You'd be surprised what some people would do for money. Help! Somebody help! Help! Shoot. Go away. Go find somebody your own size to fight. You, you think you're tough, eh? You're just a big, hairy tub of lard. You're nuts, that's what you are. You think you're tough, eh? You're nothing but a flea-ridden, four-legged, honey-thieving, son-of-a-people-hating father. <laughs> Help! Charlie? Where are you, Charlie? Help! Should somebody help? You overstuffed, ornery hearth rug. If I was ten years younger, I'd come down there and beat the living bee jeepers out of you. Hey, Charlie! And up, uh, boy, put a chain on him. Hey, take him back, Tony. And up, uh, boy. I hope you'll forgive Charlie, but whenever he gets the boxing gloves on, he wants to fight. Yeah, it's fortunate you come along. I was just going to come down there and beat the tar out of him. He he's safe, ain't he? Oh, sure. Who does he think he is, anyway? Going around hitting on his citizens. He sure packs the meanest wallop I ever seen. Very nice of you and your friends letting us use your fort, Karyad Bach. Karyad Bach? That's very pretty. What does it mean? It's Welsh, Kathy. It means little sweetheart. It's an expression we use to people we like. Well, you don't know me. I don't have to know you to like you, do I? Do you like fighting people? That's just the trouble I don't. I don't like hurting people. Well, then why are you a boxer? I don't know, really. All I've ever wanted to be is a singer. We Welsh are great singers, you know. But it seems I'm more valuable to everyone as a boxer. Or at least that's what Barney keeps telling me. Well, why don't you just quit and become a singer? Just like that? Why not? No reason, I suppose. I have thought of it. Well, if there's no reason why not, then all you've got to do is make up your mind and it's done. Carried Bach. If it's as simple as all that, then I don't have anything to worry about now, do I? Simple as that. I don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> you know, Cariad, I think you're right. I don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, folks, gather around, gather around. I got news for you. All right, all right, don't, don't push, don't jump. Give me lots of air while I tell you about the future. Middleweight champion of the world. The man who can outfight, outbox any boxer in the world today. Furthermore, I can say without fear of contradiction that my boy, Killer Jones, has the hardest, mightiest, most devastating punch of any living being that's ever put on a pair of boxing gloves. Hogwash. What do you mean, hogwash? What I said, hogwash. You wouldn't know a real punch if you seen one. <laughs> and I suppose, friend, you would. You're darn totin'. You see this? I got that with a real punch. Lifted me clear off my feet and knocked me back 12 paces. Hey, McLeod, you been fighting them jackrabbits again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're smart, eh? Uh, say, friend, can this character of yours box? Charlie, you knocked the stuffings out of anything you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. All right, friend, tell you what I'm going to do. You bring this character who gave you the black eye out to the training camp tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. If he can last three rounds with the champ, I'm going to give him $100. And in addition, just for being a good sport, I'm going to give you, personally, another 50 bucks. Now, what do you say to that? Yeah, I wouldn't want to take your money. Your fellow wouldn't have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Playing hard to get, eh? Okay, friend, tell you what I'll do. If your boy can last three rounds with a champ, I'm going to give him not 100, but $200. And in addition, I'll raise your 50 to $100. Oh. Now, what do you say to that? Well, $300, you say? That's what I said. $300, all told. Yeah. You my afternoon at two? Right again. You got yourself a deal, Buster. <laughs> hey, what do you suppose all the clouds up there? Huh? Hey, kid, uh, who is this Charlie anyway? So it's me, I never heard of him. Nobody around here named Charlie. Seems awful sure of himself, don't he? Hey, Killer! Killer, you got to fight tomorrow. It's all arranged. Barney fixed it up for you. Hey, that's good. He's a friend of McLeod's. Name's Charlie. McLeod? Charlie? Yeah. Barney bet old McLeod that his friend Charlie wouldn't last three rounds with you. Excuse me. Just a second, Champ. I can explain everything. Wait a second, Champ. I can explain everything. No, no, no. I won't, I tell you. This time you've gone too far, Barney. Cross your heart, you said. What kind of a liar are you? Oh, but champ, it was too good to miss. Don't give me this chomp business. I'm through. You better find someone else to do your dirty fighting for you. Just give me the money I got coming to me, and we'll go our separate ways. Well, well you see, champ, I... I ain't got it. What do you mean you haven't got it? Well, well you see, I... I put all our money on, on the fight tomorrow. My money? You mean you bet my money, too? Well, well sure, champ, why not? Look, it's a cinch. All you gotta do is carry the bum for a couple of rounds, just to make it look good. Then, pow, you, you knock him out in the third. It's, it's easy, easy as that. Ooh, that's the trouble with your kind, Barney. You think everything's easy. You lie and cheat your way through life, looking for the shortcuts. Then, when things get a little tough, you expect other people to do your dirty work for you. Well, after tomorrow, you'll have to find someone else to do it for you. Understand? Y you mean you'll do it? I have no choice now, do I, if I want to get my money back. But remember, this is the last time. This time, I'm really leaving you. <laughs>
aren't you, Eddie? Weren't you, Eddie? Then, this Englishman said to the ticket clerk at the railway station, I'd like a ticket to Schlanweir, Puschwingers, Go Gerich, Hur and Robo, Schlandesilio, Go, Go, Go. Is that a place? Indeed it is. It's in Wales. And it's the longest name in the entire British language. Anyway, as I was saying, this ticket clerk was a little hard of hearing. So cupping his hand to his ear, he said, Where did you say? To Schlanweir, Puschwingers, Go Gerich, Hur and Robo, Schlandesilio, Go, Go, Go repeated the Englishman. Ah, said the ticket clerk. Oh, what's the use, said the man. Just give me a ticket to London. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, where's Barney? He's staying in town tonight. I think he believes I'm still mad at him. What kind of songs did you used to sing in Wales? What? You mean you've never heard a Welsh folk song before? No, no. Well, could you sing one for us? All right. How about this one? This tells the tale of a young man thinking of his sweetheart while he's watching the golden wheat. Me see the walk in the iron fall on the view on all the fancy Mavin be Gwenith Gwyn Ac ar y llan y fedi Pam na ddoi ar fai ol Roedd i ddar ol A'i gilydd Gwaith rhoi'n dda What's the matter, Barney? Worried about your money? Still no sign of Charlie? Not yet, Carriot Bar. But I guess he'll show up any minute now. Yeah, they usually do when there's money involved. Hey, it's Bob! He's here! He's here!
best believe in Joker. Let's see your champion now. What kind of deal are you trying to pull here anyway? Deal, is it? You're the loudmouth that insisted I bring Charlie out here to fight the champ, remember? $300 you said you'd pay if he stayed three rounds with your boy. Well, yeah, but, but a bear? I didn't know nothing about no bear. You said his name was Charlie. Well, that's his name. Charlie. <laughs> well, I ain't going through with it. You said you'd pay $300 if he stayed three rounds with your boy, and that's all there is to it. Well, that's right. You made the bet. You stick by it. I'll fight him. Well, you can't. He'll kill you. That's all right, Kariad Bach. It might teach Barney here to stop trying to cheat his way through life. Yeah! yeah. Charlie, I wonder if I could sign him up. I can see it now. Last three rounds with Charlie for $500. Hey, wait for me. Hey, there. Help. Help. Somebody help. 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 Somebody help. 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 Thank goodness I'm free. Help. Hey, there. Wait for me. Hey. strange not having Barney around. But you know, I'm glad he managed to work out a deal with Charlie's owner. Seems he's gonna take him on a world boxing tour. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who is it? Hey, Charlie, Charlie, you want a drink? No hard feelings. Indeed to goodness, no. We both got beaten by a better bear. <laughs> <laughs> In yonder green valley, the shadows were falling as I stood impatiently waiting my love. The sky was still red with the sun's fiery embers and I was alone in the glade of Ash Grove. Each homestead green white in the silence around me. How fertile the acres from mountain to land. Each cottage I knew every path. 